All right, what's up, Warriors? So today I am going to show you the unboxing of the Dexcom G6 CGM. So first I got these guys, the transmitters, which are supposed to last for about the same amount of time, but they didn't send my sensors right away. So I had to wait to do this video and to hook it up to myself. Finally got the sensors in the mail. So we got those shown to the camera. I'm gonna show you guys what is inside, what it looks like, what to expect, and what's different. So first off, I'm gonna open up this guy. I'm so excited to try this out today. Looks like it's the same, same setup where it's in a plastic bin. Uh, I'm assuming we don't want to take this out until we're ready to use it, but I'm using it too. So I will uh, take that out today. Inside this box, this looks like it's going to be just one giant one. I don't know how big the, uh, the plastic parts are. So we have the instruction booklet. Oh, and we got three. Looks like we got three in there. Nice fits. That's good, good for travel. I was hoping it'd be at least three. We've got, huh, that is rather small. There we go, smaller than I expected. Got three in there, kind of a cool setup. Um, looks like it's just a single push applicator. So from what I've heard, and I've seen some people post videos similar to this, it's just a push it on, the adhesive right there, pull off the tab, push the button, and it's in, it's painless. Uh, I want to obviously check if it is in fact painless, I hope it is. Um, but I'm gonna read to you guys off of Dexcom site what we can expect, what are the differences between the G5 and the G6. As you can see here, got the G5 on my arm still. It is still active, uh, but I'll be switching that out shortly. So according to Dexcom, it says the Dexcom G6 is the latest generation of CGM available from Dexcom. New features include factory calibration, uh, a 10 day sensor wear period, whereas the G5 was a seven day sensor wear period, a one touch auto applicator, which I just said you push the orange button and it goes in, a new urgent low soon alert, which I've read about, and uh, it tells you that if they predict that you're going to go low, which is or urgent low, below 55 reading of blood sugars, uh, it will alert you if it's 20 minutes away or sooner. So if you're going to be low in 20 minutes or, or less, it will alert you with a different alert sound so that you, you know it's time to get some sugar in. Um, along with that alert, there's the acetaminophen blocking, which if you've taken acetaminophen with the G5, it gives you false high blood sugars, and so to have that blocking capability is gonna be great, so that if you are uh, in need of taking acetaminophen, it looks like you'll be able to with a maximum dose of 1,000 milligrams every six hours. Taking a higher dose may affect the G6 readings, but as long as you're below that, it looks like you should be able to take it, so that's great. Uh, and a discrete low profile wearable transmitter. So this transmitter I showed you, uh, from what I've read online, they say it's about 70% of the size. So it's a bit smaller, it's flatter. So as we can see here, maybe you can see, it's kind of rounded. So it's, I mean, com comparably, it may seem bulky. When you compare it to this, this is pretty flat looking. Um, here, I'll pull it out for you guys. So we have, that is pretty flat. I'm liking the look of that. So, there we go. Let's see if I get it to focus on that. There we go, Dexcom G6. Um, with the flatter design, this thing, it's less likely to catch on things like doors or, I don't know, maybe people if you're giving hugs out, but um, a smaller size is obviously gonna be greater for many purposes, including those who don't wanna be seen with the Dexcom, they wanna hide it under their clothing, it's less likely that it'll be noticed through clothing because it's flatter. Also, on the uh, factory calibration, so what that means is you will no longer have to test your blood with the finger pricks, whether uh, using a glucometer or whatever method you're using. Um, instead, it comes factory calibrated, so you just supposedly plug it in, let it go for the two-hour warm-up, and it just starts reading. So that's really exciting. No more calibrations. So with the G5, I have to calibrate twice a day. So every 12 hours, you do a finger stick, you check your blood, tell it what the blood is to make sure that it's still being accurate and displaying accurate blood sugars. But with the G6, they claim it is the end of finger pricks. So, no more holes in your fingers. I know I've got plenty of holes and all sorts of stuff in my fingertips. Who knows, metal shavings from the needles? <laughs> but that is supposedly done. Very exciting news. I will be uploading a video next on the insertion 
and uh, I, I'm mixed. I might go for my arm again because I've been doing upper arm for a while, but I also might go for lower back. Those are my two favorite spots. They're out of the way. They work for me. I'm very lean, so it's difficult for me to get it on my stomach. Um, so I will decide on that. I will show you guys how to do the insertion, how it goes for me as a first time insertion, as well as instructions for using the app and getting everything hooked up for the first time. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and keep up the fight.